Hello, beautiful people. So today I'm going to take you guys along with me as I make our lavender whipped body butter. So the first step is to turn your stove on low and using the double boiler method, we're going to melt down our butters. And with the lavender whipped body butter, we have just shea butter and cocoa butter. So here you see me adding a 16 ounce bag of shea butter and I'm going to add another 16 ounce bag of shea butter for the amount of jars that I want to make. So in this next clip, you see me adding the cocoa butter to the bowl with the um the shea butter. And like I said, make sure you have the stove on low because you don't want to burn the oils. You just want them to melt at a decent uh top at a you want them to melt at a decent pace. Here the butters have melted a little bit. I wait until the butters have melted halfway to add my oil and I add coconut oil. You wanna make sure you add some type of moisturizing oil so when it's time to use the whipped body butter, it's moisturizing the skin and it leaves your skin feeling good. In this next clip, I let some time go by and I went back to check on the butters to see if they were melted completely and they weren't quite melted all the way. They still have about maybe five to 10 minutes to go. So here we are, five to 10 minutes later, all the butters have completely melted and here I am just mixing it a little bit to ensure that it is completely melted. And after everything is completely melted, you want to take your bowl off the stove and put it in the refrigerator for maybe three to four hours, depending on how your refrigerator freezes or how cold your refrigerator is. Usually my refrigerator takes around four hours to freeze my um, butters. Three hours later. After time has passed, you want to take your bowl out the refrigerator. Your oil should be hardened, but not too hard to the point where they got, where they reverted back to their original form. You want, when you poke it, you want to make sure there's no liquid still on the inside that needs to be uh, solidified. You want to make sure it's really hardened up before you get ready to whip it. And once you've tested it, this is the part where you whip it. You can use a handheld mixer or the the table mixer, whichever one is fine. But you want to mix it for about six to seven minutes so that it's completely whipped up. Make sure you get all the hard pieces, all the solidified pieces whipped up and since we're making a lavender whipped body butter I added 
a lavender purple mica to my whipped body butter to make the butter a little lavender so that it complements the, the lavender essential oil. So I add a decent amount of mica powder to make sure that the butter takes the color. And then I mix it in a little bit with the spatula by hand. It was kind of hard to do because I'm recording with one hand and trying to mix with the other hand. I really needed my other hand to hold the bowl, but I may do with what I could do. So I mix in the powder a little bit. So when it's time to mix it with the handheld mixer, the mica isn't flying all over the place. So after getting it mixed in there a little bit with the spatula, I'm going to go back in and whip it with the handheld mixer to make sure it's in there. It's really in there and really incorporated. Now I'm adding the lavender essential oil. I used a tablespoon and I used two, two tablespoons of lavender essential oil to make sure that the customers can really smell the lavender. So I added one tablespoon and then I added another tablespoon. And of course I mix it in with the spatula by hand and then went ahead and mixed it with the handheld mixer to make sure that it's incorporated well. After putting in the mica powder, after adding in the lavender essential oil, you should be just about done mixing. And here's the fun part where you fill up your jars. I use a, a piping bag to fill up my jars. I don't add a tip because the tip just makes it hard to harder to get the, the um, body butter out of the bag. So I just cut the end of the bag. I didn't include it in the video, but... I cut about an inch, an inch and a half off the bag so that the hole is big enough for the body butter to come out at a decent pace. So here you just see me filling up the bag and I'm gonna just keep filling up the bag, fill up a, a jar, fill up the bag and fill up the jar. And I'm gonna do this for all six jars.
you see me hitting it on the counter because you want to make sure that all the spaces are filled. You want to make sure that you're giving your customers what they pay for. And in my case, that's eight ounces worth of whipped body butter. So you want to shake it down, make sure you fill in all those holes, get all the bubbles out and get as much body butter in there as you can. Now, when using whipped body butter, a little goes a long way. In this clip, I used a little bit too much. I had a little bit too much on my fingers, so I wiped it off on the towel, but a little goes a long way. You rub it into your skin, and it looks greasy at first, but it melts into your skin in seconds, and it smells amazing, and it leaves your skin feeling so soft and so moisturized. Whipped body butters are great, better than lotion, so... If you want your lavender essential, your lavender whipped body butter, we're restocking on Friday, Juneteenth. So click the link in our bio and shop. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your continuous support. See you later. Mwah.